we go guys uh, today I have a, a clan battle uh, replay for you guys uh, featuring myself in the daring but it's not about uh, my game it's I, I, I chose this replay more because of the uh, the things that happened during the game and I'll, I'll try to explain what we did and why it happened and stuff like that but yeah um, our team set up Kerr first Wooster, Hindenburg, Stalingrad, Smolensk, Gearing, Daring I'm playing the Daring I'm playing the uh, aggressive DD uh, I decided uh, well the DD's kind of decided where to go and who to take uh, the previous battles I, I chose the Smolensk and Stalingrad with me all the time uh, Gearing uh, took the Wooster with him and the Hindenburg um, basically because the uh, the gearing complements the uh, Wooster with uh, with his smoke and I can be kind of aggressive in the uh, in the daring because of my uh, good guns my good firing guns the short smokes and hydro and heal I can be a little bit more aggressive than the gearing so yeah that's why we uh, decided to, to go there. Take take the Smolensk with me. Firepower smoking up Stalingrad. Long range. Um, our battleship, the Kurfürst. Hmm, Kurfürst, you say? Well, the thing is, it's more about who is playing the Kurfürst. That's Daniel, Daniel Rusev. You guys know him, and yeah, he. If you guys seen his videos, he's very good in playing the curve first brawling secondaries. And because of um, this season, they actually sighted on the horizon. implemented these uh, cyclones. So yeah, it lowers down to 12 kilometers, and it's actually quite nice to have a uh, a good strong brawling BB with us. But yeah, I uh, I asked also the curve first to help me out. I decided to go in the cap here and as always hide behind the island while the small ones go to the outside. Stalingrad will be following, Curfers will be following. But I think it's more about well what we had was everybody was actually kinda playing the, sh the ship they like to play and it was basically more about the communication and teaming up keeping in good communication here with each other uh, as, as you can see we already took C but they look it looks like they're gonna do a heavy push or at least have some I have a lot of guns on their B cap got the Des Moines Venezia Zao there Borgon is, uh, is uh, moving in as well we got the Stalingrad here I got the cap so we got two caps but as you can see I also have RPF on the ship so I know where the Summers is I believe they have a Summers yeah they have a Summers and I think the Summers is my main focus Summers is my main focus I should not try to get a uh, radar the big question is all right, so I kind of fucked up here, but that's radar. Starling is behind the island, so if he's radaring me, who's gonna fire on me? Targeted by two now. Yeah, the Summers might do, but it means he has to review his position. And there's the Des Moines, so yeah, it's the Stalingrad radaring me. Bogorn is taking a shot at me. So I'm, I'm, I'm going away here I know the summers is somewhere between me and the boy go to port and that's why I used my hydro and here comes the torps torpedoes are stern I mean and these torps are actually uh, it also helps um, I was talking to uh, free the brain my Stalingrad here saying are you okay with the torps and he said yeah I got enough speed 
So that's also one thing I like to do with the daring is be between me and my other ships and uh, provide them with some extra hydro torpedo detection. As you can see we figured out that they have a heavy push on uh, on A going on so we decided to, uh, all right we gonna have we gonna need a have a push here. So yeah, Daniel decided to do what he does best and that is actually Brawl. I tried to stay away from the Stalingrad but also position myself between him and the, uh, the Summers. Uh, we actually already discussed uh, what to do with A and A was actually uh, Hindenburg, Wooster, just go away, kite away, stay alive, gearing, go, go to the other side of the island and stick in, stay in the cap as long as possible you know contest that cap the moin is there all right there's the stalingrad he's somehow not raiding me or the des moines and there's the summers so summers stalingrad des moines on this uh, on this on this flank and I'm telling here, you know, Des Moines is the uh, most dangerous target for me because he's got line of sight on me. So Daniel's focusing on uh, on the Des Moines there, actually turning away away past the island here, not going towards the Stalingrad, but actually turning here. Uh, so the Summers won't uh, won't fully tour brush him and I think the Summers realized all right he's not gonna come here all right so Des Moines most dangerous target he needs to die and he needs to die quick and I'm yelling to everybody guys kill this Des Moines all right Gehring is still in the cap contesting the A cap there but he has to really go now he really has to go now Indeed, and the Des Moines should die quick. All right, got a fire on him. And Danny is retreating right now. Smolensk and Stalingrad on the flank, and that's the Des Moines. And we got uh, the points lead, but we're actually losing one cap. But we said to the guys on A, you know, survivability is way more important than having. Uh, Having caps but having no ships. Alright, so my main focus now is the Summers. Summers is the one I should get. Summers is the one I should kill. But I should be careful with the Stalingrad. So what did I do? I asked uh, the st our Stalingrad and our Smolensk to focus their Stalingrad. And Danny in the curve first. He should start pushing Torpedo towards support. A. And assist uh, these guys on A. And I mean, he's got a good, good opportunity to uh, have a good shot on the Zao. And yeah, he's doing exactly that. He's eating one torp, but that's okay. But he's focusing on the Zao. While uh, our Stalingrad and uh, Smolensk are uh, focusing on their Stalingrad. And I'm focusing on the Summers. And yeah, you can't see it right now, but then he's taking a good shot on the Zao now, who's showing a lot of broadside. And boom, he actually deletes him, so that's two kills for Daniel. Alright, this Stalingrad is uh, actually kind of dying quick. Brain is looking very healthy in his Stalingrad, so yeah, we should get this kill as well. And that actually gives me the opportunity to chase down the Summers and uh, go for the B cap. So that would mean we got two more caps. I'm yelling, kill <laughs> kill the Stalingrad, kill the Stalingrad. And I, I've decided to uh, use my hider because I am radared and I am being uh, targeted by the uh, Summers. And the Summers has some uh, really good torpedoes. Uh, I know I'm in detection range now, so I'm closing in. Yes, Wolfette, I'm uh, reviewing, reviewing replays. 
And now I basically just need to gun down this Summers. And my Hydro shows where his torps are. If I can kill the Summers, I can get B. But the only danger I have now is uh, it's actually the Borgon there. He's taking a shot at me. Problem solved, sir. Alright, so we're ahead on points, ahead on ships, and uh, we're gonna get the B cap very soon. If I don't die. Fire! Well, as you can see, in the north, our Hindenburg and Wooster and Gearing actually survived, kiting away. And they're actually uh, pulling uh, the Des Moines and Venetia away. So what is gonna happen? We lose our Hindenburg finally after so long they finally were able to kill one but then they lose their Venezia. Who wants to be king? And this is gonna be interesting because am I gonna get a Torp hit? I mean Torps on the Daring are not good. I do manage to land one Torp. Unfortunately no flooding. Alright, this is gonna be interesting, and it's kind of a shame we cannot see a brain enter or come by. Smoke generator activated. But it's gonna be a uh, a brawl between the Borgon and the Stalingrad. Smoke screen set. Daniel and the curve first, already on three kills. I think he's gonna have a good shot under the Moin. We're showing broadside. I mean, he shoot. But even so, if there, yeah, there he goes. Kill number four for him. Brain is getting wrecked by the Borgon. But even so, we got the caps, we got the points. I'm still alive. I can take caps. Victory is in sight. And yep, Cur Borgon. Their Borgon is the last one. And. There you go guys, and let's go back to the big camera, ooh, I mean I'm sorry guys I don't, I don't have a result screen but I mean, I mean I unfortunately forgot to take the result screen but you saw Daniel getting the uh, the final kill there actually making his kill amount in that, that game as in a curve first on 5 so yeah, he's got he's got that Kraken and the reason I chose this battle to uh, to uh, to review was not because of uh, pre-planned tactics, but more about uh, how we worked as a team and how we communicated and how we. Uh, improvised on what happened in the battle and I think everybody and I mean absolutely everybody uh, in that clan battle did exactly what they should do and it actually led us to a good win these games are way more action-packed than the higher leagues I mean I really enjoyed that clan battle I think it was a good one and yeah, <laughs> teamwork with the well. I mean, I'm trying. I I try to explain what we did and how it goes. I mean, it would have been nice if it was on stream and you could hear our communication and working together. But unfortunately, I was not streaming, so that is the reason why uh, why I just wanted to show you this replay and uh, give as good as comment as I could. But yeah, that's it. I think with Daniel having five kills, you might see some of his action as well. But I'm not sure. Who knows? <laughs> if you know Danny, he might. But yeah, that was a good game. We actually only lo we lost three ships. We lost our Hindenburg. We lost our Gearing, and unfortunately, we lost our Stalingrad. I think we even lost a small end, I don't remember. Yeah, player skill as well. I think 
what we actually just decided is to have like a group of three together so Hindenburg, Wooster and Gehring these three together <coughs> my throat is getting dry because of the uh, smoke that that the Gehring can provide sorry and yeah the uh, not communicating loses you games yeah I mean we're we're having a different way of approaching clan battles and I think this night we just said you know guys pick a ship that you like the most and then we adjusted a little bit and then we decided okay you three play together you play three play together uh, me me and the other DD we actually decided you know uh, where are you gonna go and where are you gonna go and I basically decided I should take the fighting cap because of the aggressive uh, aggressive playstyle of the daring and the gearing is way better in uh, being defensive and yeah it we actually had like a 6-3 win that, that night so that was kind of a cool night I really enjoyed that but yeah it's uh, it's cool I hope you guys enjoyed that replay I mean for me it was a really joy to uh, to play that that one even though I didn't do uh, that much damage but it's not always about damage it's also about good team play anyway guys um, yeah if 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 you enjoyed watching that or if you have a replay of your own you know feel free to send it in if you if you know me on discord send it on discord if not uh, I think I got some info down below where you can send it in but yeah please do and let me have a look at one of your replays I'm more than happy to uh, to show them on my stream so yeah anytime you want do that <laughs> 